So I did noticed few were having trouble with installing wrong Getty Pro builds. Even though few did manage to install, they still ended up with cam bugs as well as safety net issues. Today, in this video, we will be discussing about how to install Romkiti Pro 12.5.4 version with pre and post installation steps. You can follow the same steps for any other new versions as well. So, before getting started, if you are new here, check out my channel for knowing more taste of my work and subscribe if you like them. To begin with, you need to have a unlocked bootloader with custom recovery installed and all ROM files and preferred recovery downloaded from the description. Once done, move all files into your micro SD card. Also make sure that you have taken all your data backup. Next step is to remove all the security measures including face unlock, fingerprint screen lock. Once done, proceed with removing linked Google account and MIUI account if you are from MIUI. One important question you might have come out here is, someone who forgot MIUI account can install this ROM or not? Answer is a big yes. Since it is a port ROM, it is not mandatory to have a MIUI account. Even in this installation, I am not using my MIUI account. So now let's move on and reboot your phone into recovery. Before doing it, make sure to charge your phone at least 50% to avoid anything unexpected. Once you are in recovery, first is to flash the preferred recovery. Currently, I am on TWRP 3.5.2 version. Now select install and navigate into the SHRP recovery you have downloaded. Select the SHRP file and swipe to flash. Once done, your phone will automatically reboot into recovery. So be patient, it is mandatory to use this recovery. Once you are back in Havoc recovery, first is to format the phone. So select wipe, advanced, Dalvik, cache, system, vendor, data, internal storage. Now selecting the tick mark from right bottom side will start formatting the directories. Once done, select tick mark again will take you to the home page. Now select flash and navigate into the ROM file. Select the ROM creative pro file you have downloaded and select the tick mark again to start flashing it. Wait until the installation process finishes. Once done, make sure that there is no errors noticed and reboot your phone. Let me quickly finish these steps and come back. So as you see, my phone is rebooted into RomKT Pro build. If you see cam applications, it is broken. And so next is to fix that. Open your file manager and navigate into internal storage. Under downloads folder, you will see three files. One is for PUBG or BGMI Ultra HD enabling. Second one is for OnePlus 8 Dolby Atmos. And last one is for fixing MIUI cam. Now let's reboot the phone into recovery. Once you are in recovery, select flash and navigate into downloads folder and select Romkt Pro fix MIUI cam file and flash it. You can also flash the Dolby Atmos file if you want to. Once done, reboot your phone.